Peridot is such an interesting and unique gemstone in my opinion, but to be honest, most of the people that I've met that are born in August and have it as their birthstone are generally not thrilled. I think Peridot has gotten a bad rap because we tend to only see it in mass market jewelry, which generally tends to not be the best quality. And I think this stone deserves so much more than that and in general is very underrated. Here are five things to know about Peridot. Peridot is an ancient gemstone that has such a mysterious and alluring history, it feels like it's almost ready for its own spy film. The gem was originally found on the island known as Zabur God, which is now sometimes also called St. John's Island. This island is located in the Red Sea and it was actually mined by the Egyptians. Interestingly enough, the Egyptians originally referred to Peridot as Topaz and they even called the island which they found the Peridot on as Topazios. Legend has it that the island was originally infested with snakes, which of course would make mining peridot very unpleasant and difficult to do. But some historians think that this was just a security measure in order to keep other people from coming to the island and trying to take the peridot themselves. The Egyptians love peridot so much that some people actually believe that Cleopatra's famous love of emeralds and her famous emerald collection might have actually been peridot. As I mentioned before, I think one of the reasons why people tend to shy away from Peridot is they don't love the color that they see it in. And this is because, as I said, we tend to see it in more mass market jewelry, which, tend, which tends to be lower quality. And that means the gems are generally of lower saturation, which gives those stones more of a yellow and even brownish tint, which combined with their green body color is not exactly ideal. However, if you had the chance to actually see good qualities and even the best qualities of Peridot, you would see that their true color is actually a beautiful, zesty apple green. And these stones are eye clean, they tend to be very high clarity, and again, they have that gorgeous saturation with no yellow or brown, and it's actually super bright and vivid. One interesting factor to know about the quality of color of Peridot is that like many gems, especially when we talk about sapphires and rubies, they can be mined from either basalt rock conditions or metamorphic conditions. Just like most gems, the basalt conditions tend to be very high in iron and that's gonna give the gem more of a dark brownish tint, whereas the metamorphic conditions are known for producing really vivid and highly saturated colors. Some of the most famous metamorphic environments that are known for producing famous, absolutely stunning qualities of Peridot are the Himalayan mountains of Pakistan and Myanmar. Myanmar, of course, being also one of the most famous sources for other gems, especially the best qualities of rubies. Of course, the more yellow or brown tint that a Peridot gem has, the less valuable it's gonna be overall. Unlike the majority of gems such as sapphires and different varieties of quartz and beryl, including emerald and amethyst and morganite, those gems get their colors from very small amounts of trace elements that creates the color in their chemical structure. But Peridot actually has the chemical composition for the color built right into its structure. This means that Peridot's color is all natural, it never has to be heated or treated for color, and you're never gonna find it in any other color either. Again, this is a pretty rare trait amongst gemstones, and we refer to these types of minerals as being idiochromatic. Adding to their mystery, Peridot has definitely been found in volcanic rock, including in nodules in lava flow, and even on meteorites that came from space. The non-gem mineral material of Peridot is actually called olivine and can even be found on a few amazing volcanic beaches around the world, including the Galapagos Islands, Guam, and Hawaii. So much so that these are some of the most rare green sand beaches on earth. Now, if you've been a Peridot lover all along, or maybe I've convinced you to give it a second chance, one thing to note that's very important is that it actually does require some very gentle care and cleaning. Peridot is one of those gems that can be very sensitive to rapid temperature change and just very high heat or cold in general. And it's also a little bit of a softer stone. It falls around six and a half to seven on the Mohs hardness scale. This means that it's gonna be a little bit more prone to abrasions, especially on facet edges and scratches in general. So if you're wearing it in a ring, for example, you're gonna to wanna to be extra cognizant about when and how you wear that ring. 
You definitely also want to avoid anything that's too high heat, any steam cleaners. You don't want to use the ultrasonic machine when cleaning the Peridot, so that's a machine that a jeweler might offer to clean your jewelry with if you're browsing in the store. And definitely keep the stone away from any abrasive cleaners or chemicals, so definitely want to be taking that off when you're doing any cleaning or anything else around the house. You can keep your Peridot jewelry looking amazing and clean it very safely yourself at home with a baby toothbrush, some baking soda, and warm water. Give it a gentle scrub, rinse, and then allow it to dry completely. If you have any other questions about Peridot, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And of course, you can always visit our main page for more information at winstongemsandjewelry.com.